Okay, here we are. We've got four decks in Tractor. In this deck, I've got Vans by the pack. I'm going to use this intro as a baseline to sample. Over here, we've got We Will Rock You. I'm just going to use the classic um, uh, clap with a echo effect for our, our snare. Um, down here, we've got Mode Selector by Jacuzzi. We're gonna use a vocal section from that as a vocal background layer. Maybe she go go. Maybe no, she never saw. Take it and she take it. Where I cook and she played up. And then over here in deck D, we've got a hi-hat loop. Uh, I'm gonna use this loop to kind of uh, keep time and um, sync everything else up to our master tempo. So the basic premise here is that we can do something in one of the four decks, um, like a juggle or a scratch, and then record that action and get the performance in time with the rest of the decks. Now, uh, the simplest way to do that is to go up here into our effects section and to in a simple effect, load a beat masher. Now the beat masher is going to grab a certain specified length of whatever a deck is coming through this effect slot. In this case, we've got deck number B um, assigned to effect slot two. So this slot is gonna record whatever comes through that. We could also assign all the other decks to that effect slot and record them all collectively. But right now we just wanna record one deck. So um, I'm actually going to use a chained effect so I can sample this in this slot and then continue to affect that sample with these three effects. I've got a um, overdrive and a reverb in two and three. So um, we can continue to mess up and affect that sound. And now, as I was saying, the beat masher is going to grab four counts of the selected deck. Uh, on the all the way to the left is four. All the way to the right is a thirty second. So we want it on the left. We also want the dry wet to one hundred percent, so we get the full volume of the sample. This dry wet is actually going to work as a volume later, so you can bring that sample in or out of the mix. Then, as soon as we hit the on button, it's going to start essentially recording or grab the next four counts. Now. Now, what four counts it grabs and what tempo it grabs depends on over here. If we go to the metronome section, which is hidden underneath effect slot one. Right now I've got my metronome set to, or my master clock set to manual mode. This allows me to manually dial in the tempo. I'm going to change this to 102. And Tractor is basically going to have its own internal clock that's running the entire time. By clicking tick. I can hear what that clock is doing in my headphones. You can't hear it in the video, but I've got a ticking sound in my master cue. And I can go ahead and play along to that metronome and sync up my first performance to that clock. The other way to do it is go ahead and sync up one of the decks to that clock by hitting sync and play. Now I know that these hats are playing in time with the master clock. And if I go ahead and play a routine with this deck and I play in time, it'll be pretty much good to go. So now we've got a baseline running and we can affect that sample as much as we want. We can add a little more reverb, a little more drive, or just some verb. Now, we can add another effect by switching over to effect slot one and essentially do the same thing. I've got a beat masher here set up. I can get a clap going. Get a little bit of an effect there. Let's turn that off. So now I've got a clap going. Now let's drop a vocal in deck C. I'm gonna switch to deck C control, hit sync, to sync it up to the master tempo and drop that. Maybe she go go. Maybe she never saw. Take it and she take it where I go. Can she play the ball? 
Let's drop a drop a loop. Now we can go back and mess up the clap. And then maybe add some. So here we've got four things going on. Bass sample here. With effects, we can adjust the volume in or out, and we can also change the length of the sample. Then we've got a clap over here. We could also change that sample. It's kind of cool. Now, because these two are synced to the master tempo and we've got it set to manual, we can raise that tempo. And it's going to sync it perfectly. And because these two decks are synced to that tempo, they're also going to increase in speed. Maybe she never.